best way to reform these kids is to keep them off the streets. But Mark Steinis has a story about a program that keeps them running, literally. Every day is just a risk that's just gonna be a risk taking walking around the streets, could be shot in the middle of the streets. A marathon, 26.2 grueling miles. That's the distance between life behind bars and a brighter tomorrow for former gang member Andrew Duran. He is the end product of a six-year-old program called Students Run L.A. The only test in this class is of human endurance, the completion of the L.A. Marathon. Andrew Duran passed with flying colors. That's the best feeling I've ever had in my life. I know. Uh, I said, you know what, I'm going to have that feeling again. In 1987, Andrew was a gang member. It was then that he met Harry Shabazian, a teacher at Boyles Heights Continuation School. Within a year, he had accomplished what most people never dream of. Running in the streets, to just go running and just take some time off and try to just build something positive, you know, positive for myself, you know, because no one out there is going to do it for me, you know. There are numerous, numerous youngsters that have really benefited from this program in the sense that they have been able to finally get their lives on the, and, and the right track. More than 800 students will get their life back on track when they run the L.A. Marathon. Not all of those 800 are gang members, but they all stand to gain the same thing. And there's nothing stopping anybody that's out there in the street from doing the same thing and feeling the same way. Do you talk to other gang members about this? I try to constantly talk to them as much as I can now, but... There's a lot of those uh, hard-headed ones that I won't see again. Andrew will be competing in his seventh marathon this year. Back in 1987, when he completed his first marathon, he went home, got a razor blade and a bottle of rubbing alcohol, and removed his gang affiliation from his skin. It was symbolic of crossing a finish line in a race that Andrew knew he'd never win. There's a saying that says, uh, don't tell me who you hang around with, because I'll tell you who you are, you know? And uh, pretty much says it all, you know. I'm Mark Steinis, Channel 9 Sports. That's a great program. 90% of the kids who run the marathon finish high school, and some of them even go on.